This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Here we go. Hell yeah. Okay. Butter is smooth. Wow. I've wanted this for so long. <laughs> Let's go. Here it is. Oh, it's flying. It's levitating. Other things are levitating. We know. Mm, no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, that's cool. No. Here we go. Okay, we're building again. Oh, yeah. And they will all be available next week. I'm not ready. As expected, Apple launched their first lineup of computers today to house their new Silicon M1 chip. In the past, Apple has been using Intel chips in their CPUs and GPUs in their laptops and desktops, and for the most part, they do a good job. That being said, Apple's iPads, watches, and iPhones all use their proprietary homemade Apple-baked processors. Now, by having Apple-made chips in their Mac lineup, they're able to achieve some pretty cool things. In short, the Apple chip offers way faster performance and better battery life. Way better battery life. Now let's break down the three models that Apple introduced with the M1 chip. So we have the MacBook Air, which starts at $999 US, the Mac Mini, which starts at a new lower price of $699, and the MacBook Pro 13 inch, which starts at $1299. Let's start with the MacBook Air, which is my personal favorite. Right off the bat, the MacBook Air is the same price it was yesterday, but it's got new performance specs and it came as quite a surprise for this particular model. The 8-core CPU performs up to three times faster than the previous generation, and the GPU performs up to five times faster when you opt for the 8-core option. And when it comes to machine learning, you're getting up to nine times faster performance nine times faster. <laughs> now the SSD performs two times faster thanks to the chip storage controller on the M1 chip, which for everyday small tasks like previewing raw image files, it will be a lot faster. They're claiming that the M1 chip in the MacBook Air is faster than 98% of the laptops sold in the last year. Now let's talk about the fan or lack thereof. You know what the fan sounds like in this 16 inch Mac Pro? You know what it sounds like in the 13 inch with the M1 chip and no fan? This. Nothing. <laughs> so what the magic is with the M1 chip is that you're getting all of this amazing performance, but with way better battery life. And with the battery on this MacBook Air, it'll last you up to 18 hours for video playback, which is six hours longer than before, and up to two times longer battery life for video calls. So what does all of this mean for people like us? Creators, photographers, videographers. It means that we actually have the opportunity to edit on a MacBook Air. We are no longer confined to the size and the weight of a MacBook Pro. You're finally getting the support from the hardware that you need in a much more compact design and with longer battery life. If I were a new creative to this industry and I didn't quite have the money I needed to get a MacBook Pro, then I would absolutely reach for this Air and that's why it's my favorite option. But let's move on and talk about the Mini. Without sounding too much like a broken record here, you're getting a lot of the same spec bumps that you did with the MacBook Air and that's just because of the M1 chip. Once again, it's offering way faster performance for more intensive tasks. It does have a more advanced thermal design that's helping to keep it cool and quiet. So the price is lower at $699 and you can run two Pro Display XDR monitors simultaneously. But by the time you go ahead and plug it into just one $5,000 monitor, it's not that affordable anymore. Now, if you're looking for a more permanent home setup for under $1,000, then this may be a great option for you because you could use a less expensive monitor model. But if there's some part of you, that little part of you that wants the portability aspect, then I would opt for a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro and just plug in a monitor when needed. Now, the new Mac Mini with M1 will definitely outperform their current base model iMac lineup with the Intel chips. That being said, I'm very excited to see what Apple does over the next couple years as they roll out M1 into their new lineup. Lastly, the new 13-inch MacBook Pro, and guess what? You enjoying this video? Cool. Couple things I'm gonna ask you to do then. One, maybe subscribe to my channel. Uh, two, listen to me talk about Squarespace for a minute. Thanks. I used Squarespace to make my website. 
I legitimately did, even before they paid me to do this ad. The template I chose was clean and stylish, and I literally built it myself. I really struggle with design, but Squarespace made it super easy for me to showcase my portfolio beautifully. The platform is super easy for me to customize, update regularly, and I can get analytics about the purchases made on my digital products through my online store. And I run my own business, so I don't have time to learn a whole new platform. All right, so head over to Squarespace for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, you can use this code right here to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks Squarespace. Now back to the video. It's faster too. Now the eight core CPU is 3.5 times faster. It's got five times faster graphics. The machine learning workloads are 11 times faster and up to 20 hours of video playback. And again, we've got better and faster performance with more efficient battery life, all thanks to the M1 chip and Big Sur. Now it's got a new and improved microphone, but if I were paying $12.99 for a new laptop, I might as well just fork out the extra cash for an external microphone if it matters that much to you. Now for you creators, this MacBook Pro is a great choice, but when looking at it next to the MacBook Air, you just need to ask yourself, how much does the cost and how much does the weight and size matter to you? Ultimately, the 13 inch MacBook Pro is going to be a faster and more robust computer overall. Now what I wanna know is how does this 13 inch MacBook Pro with M1 at $12.99 stack up to my 16 inch MacBook Pro at $23.99? Gerald? Now let's sum everything up. We had some really exciting advancements today from Apple and it's a great time to be in the market for a new Mac. Now, if you're new to your creative field and you need a machine that will help you handle some of the more beginner to intermediate graphics work that you're doing, then I think the MacBook Air is probably a great choice for you. Or if you travel a lot and you just want something light and mobile, but will still allow you to edit on the go, MacBook Air is a great option as well. Now, if you're someone that's doing more advanced work with graphics and processing, but you still want something that's fairly portable, then 13 inch MacBook Pro is great for you. And now if you're a hermit and you never leave your house ever, like many of us are actually doing right now, then the Mac mini is for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you'll enjoy exploring all the new toys on the Apple website that are available today. That's pretty crazy. Uh, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you're not already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified for all future videos so you don't miss a thing. Bye.